Good day from ABC Acres. I'm Brett Molingo. Today we're talking Myers Lemons trees. They are a lemon and a mandarin orange cross. Uh, you see here, this is an improved Myers lemon tree. Uh, all the improved means is that scientists have come up with a way to disease free or virus free the citrus tree. Uh, this, this particular tree is grown in Florida for citrus crops down there. Uh, a much healthier variety than in previous or pre 1950s. Um, we have some dwarf trees here in our greenhouse and we're gonna do a little experiment on propagation from seed. Uh, please understand that just because you propagate lemons from seed that you're gonna get a Myers lemon, that is not the case. Uh, you'll get the cross or the hybridized version of whatever it was pollinated with within the fruit. So this is a fun experiment, I'm gonna show you We'll get right to it. First off, once again, dwarf Myers tree. Uh, it's been in our greenhouse for about a year now. We were very fortunate to get uh, some fruit on it. Uh, this is a, a three or four year old tree. It's a grafted tree that we purchased. Um, it's been in our greenhouse for approximately a year. And this winter we got an amazing crop. We got 22 lemons off of this uh, tree. So with that, this is a, one of those uh, avocado tree experiments. Uh, we're gonna do it with lemons. So stay tuned and we will get right to the process. Once again, Myers lemons in the greenhouse. These are sweet and tangy lemons that we've got from our Myers tree. Uh, at this point, we're gonna do some harvesting of the seeds. As we come in close, you'll see the seeds. The best way to do this is to cut them in half and literally squeeze them right over a colander. Mmm, perfect. What's very unique about a Myers is they're a lot like an orange. Uh, improved flavor. Uh, they're not bitter like the true uh, Super One or any grocery store type lemons. They're extremely sweet uh, and very edible. They can be peeled and eaten. So we've harvested the seeds. We got nine or ten viable seeds. At this point, we need to rinse them and dry them off for preparation for germination. So at this point, we've got our sterile paper towel down, dump the seeds onto it, scoop them out. Obviously, we have a lot more than ten seeds here. Only nine or ten are viable, but at this point, we're just drying them off. And the only reason we dry them off is just there's kind of a, a slimy residue with the, on the seed that we need to get off to be able to remove the seed coat. I've washed the seeds now. We have 10 viable seeds that we can uh, start propagating with. Um, at this point, we're gonna let them sit for approximately two hours to let the seed coat that surrounds the seed dry so it's easier to peel off. I found uh, over the course of the last two or three months that germination uh, is increased by removing that seed coat. Uh, better water penetration uh, when you see how we uh, germinate these seeds in paper towels in a plastic bag. So here we go. We have a seed, it's dried for approximately two hours and the seed coat is starting to come off. So at this point we can peel off the seed coat exposing the bare seed. Once you get it kind of started it comes right off. Bam, just like that. So you have the seed coat and the seed. I've taken the time to do the other seeds uh, so you don't have to watch us uh, peel seeds uh, for better part of 30 minutes. So at this point, the citrus seed is ready to be propagated, put in the sterile uh, paper towel and watered and wait for germination. Germination is anywhere between 10 and 14 days depending on the temperature. Um, we do ours, we germinate ours at approximately 70 degrees on a heat mat. Um, We'll walk through the process and see how we do. At this point, we have them laying on a sterile sterile bed, which we're using paper towels, uh, keeping a moist environment. Uh, seeds are laid out. We're going to pour a little uh, H2O, a little water on the paper towels. Get them laid out. And at this point, we're just gonna fold the paper towel over. And then fold it over once again. 
making sure you've got moisture throughout. And at this point, we are going to put the seeds in their little envelope in a Ziploc bag. Don't seal the bag and for air movement. We've cut off the ends of the bag uh, to keep air because if, if you uh, put it in airtight conditions, you'll get mold, mildew, uh, and the seeds will just rot. So at this point, the seeds are ready for the heat mat and we will see you in about 14 days. Hey, welcome back. It's been uh, approximately 10 days now and we were fortunate enough to get four out of the 10 seeds to germinate uh, at the 10 day mark. Um, at this point, you can see we've got uh, seed and root starting to, uh, to produce. So at this point, now that, the, now that we have visible roots, it's time to plant it uh, in the potting medium uh, for future growth. We plant our plants here at ABC Acres in an organic potting soil as well as peat moss, 50-50 uh, mix. We've had great success with that mixture. Uh, we're going to continue using it, but at this point we're going to take the seeds, root side down, poke a hole in the, the medium, and here we go. See, root side down, into the hole. Just barely peeking out. Have the seed just barely peeking out of that hole. There we go. We still have some more seeds that are uh, working on germinating. You can see them starting to plump. We'll put those back on the germination table, back at 70 degrees. Hopefully within the next handful of days, we will see uh, roots starting to form on those and be able to put them into potting medium as well. So we got the seeds planted. Now we're gonna put a humidity dome. We use the simple uh, Ziploc bag. Cover these up. Uh, I've watered them in very well. Uh, creating lots of moisture, which in turn underneath our grow lights will uh, create humidity. Cover each one of these in preparation for the grow light. So at this point, just to recap, you know, we're 10 days in, we've got four viable seeds covering them. Uh, Humidity domes at this point, and we're going to move them to our grow towers that I'll show you here in just a second. With that, um, I've been propagating these Myers lemon seeds for approximately two months now, so we have multiple stages through the process. Um, I'll show you some of those trees that we've got going. Uh, they're approximately two to three inches in height. Uh, fairly slow growing, they are citrus trees. Well, we got them all potted up, humidity dome on, headed for the grow rack. Just wanted to show you some of the other trees that we had propagated over the past two months, uh, varying stages from seeds that are just starting to emerge to a tree that's almost two months old at this point. Um, we are getting some success. Uh, it's been a fun experiment. And knock on wood, in four years, we're gonna see some sort of a lemon, not necessarily an improved Myers or a Myers lemon, uh, there's some hybridization that goes along with the things that we talked about today, but until next time, happy growing.